I have many open source repos, some with a few stars all the way up to thousands of stars. So in this video, I want to share how to promote and how not to promote your open source project. Spam your repo links everywhere. Actually, that's not going to work and actually has a negative effect against your project. There are places you can share your repo if you really, really want to. But I wouldn't recommend it. And I definitely wouldn't recommend sharing the link. You need to give a reason to why sharing your link and also give the person an, an action. So for example, what is your project about? And also, what do you want people to do? Do you want them to star it? Do you want them to use the project and give feedback? Do you want them to contribute? So always try to make it valuable. Sharing a link isn't valuable. People need to know what the link's about and why they should click on it and go have a look really. You can share tips on socials. So if you've learned something about your open source project and you want to share that, then share that on social. Share it on a YouTube video or a blog post or a tweet. And then in the reply to that or as part of that, you can say, if you want to see a real world example, then here's my project. Have a look at it. But you're giving them value before asking them to go have a look at your project. When you do share the link to your project as part of that tip, make sure it is really focused, focused as possible. And what I mean by that is if you're talking about automation and GitHub action, don't just share a link to the repo, share a link to the actual GitHub YAML file for that GitHub action. It will make it so much easier for people and people are more likely to click next time and have a look and install your project. Have good first issues on your project. This is such a great opportunity to get people to discover your project. People search for good first issues on GitHub all the time, but there's a catch. Make sure you don't abuse this label and make sure that it is a good first issue. Don't have this label on your issues, but when they're just got a title and they're not a good first issue. A good first issue, and I've got many videos on this, must have a step-by-step -step guide on someone who isn't familiar with your project. They know what to do and can follow it along. It'll probably take you longer to create that issue than do the changes yourself, but you're getting more exposure and getting more stars to your project. Because if someone comes to a good first issue they found on your project by searching GitHub and it's not a good first issue, they're never going to come back to your repo again. You really want to encourage people to come back and encourage people to speak highly of your project because they effectively become your sales team. They'll tell their friends, they'll tell people in the community. When people ask, you know, which project should I contribute to? Is there a project that's really you know, welcoming and encouraging you know, good first issues and new contributors? You want them to shout about your project. Another tip I'd like to say is try to respond to issues and pull requests promptly, even if it's going to be, oh, I take a look at the weekend, but try to respond within 24 hours. This does get more difficult as the project grows and you can add maintainers to help with that, but make sure you're not just adding lots of random people. Make sure you're adding people who are familiar with the project and also follow your same project ethos and you know friendly, collaborative and so on. I did mention about sharing tips on socials and you can also create content on your project indirectly, right? You don't want it to be a sales pitch, but you can talk about how people can get started with your project. You could share achievements that your project, it's got a thousand new stars. Great, share that, but also share your failures as well. This shows that you're human and people can really relate to the failures as well. And if you want to do even better, don't just share the failure and kind of stop the conversation there. What you want to do is include the takeaways, the things you learn from it, what you would do next time, how you would improve it. Writing documentation is a great way to get your project discoverable by search engines and on uh, GitHub, etc but you probably won't write good documentation. Not because you're a bad writer or because you don't know the project, but I think because you know the project too well. But you've got to start somewhere and it's good for you to start documentation. But encourage people to read documentation and improve it. It's a great way to get contributors and it's a great way to level up the onboarding of your project. And trust me, someone who's new to your project can make improvements that you just can't make. I want to mention, and I don't know if you know this already, let me know in the comments below if you knew about this already, but GitHub has a trending page. Yes, it does. You and your repo can trend on GitHub. This is a great way to get discovered and get more stars on your project. So how do you achieve this? Well, the more stars you get in a day, week or month, the more likely you're going to trend and then you're more likely to get more stars. But this is like that expression money makes money. So if you have money, you can make more money. But what happens if you don't have money? And what happens if you don't have stars? But as I mentioned, you can trend on there as well. So be consistent contributing to your repo 
and you can trend. And when people visit your GitHub profile, they'll be able to find your GitHub repo. So make sure you have it pinned, but don't pin too many, because if you have too many, then it reduces the impact of the pinned repos, right? If you have two pinned, then it's gonna have a bigger impact than having six pinned. People won't know which ones to visit. So I highly recommend pinning less, less is more. What tips do you have to get more stars for your repo? Leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to geeking out with you every day in the Eddie Hub Discord. Link in the description below.